Hello there. My name is Anthony from TheGameJar.com, and I'm going to talk to you today about the science of Mass Effect. In Mass Effect 1, whenever you travelled between two points that didn't require a mass relay jump, the game cut to a loading screen of the Normandy travelling at FTL or faster than light speeds. The play was treated to a scene like this one. The front of the Normandy was bathed in a blue coloured hue, and the after blazing red colour. Now believe it or not, this was not just an aesthetic colour choice. There is a reason why the creators of Mass Effect chose to colour the front of the Normandy blue, and the back of the Normandy red, and this reason is steeped in some delicious treacle of science. Instead of the Normandy, Imagine a car moving towards you at a relatively fast speed, blaring its horn. As the car moved towards you, you'd probably expect to hear something a, a bit like this. But why did they make that kind of sound? Why does it go high and then go low as the car travels away from you? Well, the reason is very simple. Sound travels in waves, called sound waves. Now, as a car travels towards you, the sound waves in front of the car become squashed, so they sound to the human ear, higher pitched. And then as the car goes past and moves away, the waves behind sound stretched, become stretched, so they sound lower pitched, and that's why the car makes that kind of noise. Light, like sound, also travels in waves, and obviously we see using light. So when you were to look at a picture of the Normandy, travelling faster than light, like you do in the loading screens in Mass Effect, the light waves coming off the front of the ship would, just like the sound waves from the car, become squashed together. And rather than changing pitch, light waves change colour when they change their wavelength. So these squashed waves appear blue. The wavelengths at the back are stretched, and they appear red. Scientists call this the Doppler effect, and the blue is called blue shift, and the red is called red shift. Hopefully, that's explained a little bit more of the science of Mass Effect, and hopefully you found it interesting. Don't forget to check back on thegamejar.com for more videos and articles like this one on the science of video games. In the meantime, if you've got any questions about the Mass Effect universe, or any other video game, and you want to know if it has a basis in real-world science, then please feel free to ask away in the comments below or leave it as a comment on thegamejar.com and we'll try and cover it in a future video or article. Thanks for watching, I've been Anthony. Live long and prosper.